10 Gross Habits That Royalty Had In The Past Two hundred years ago, when it comes to royalty at school, we've been taught that in those days of monarchies in the great families of Europe, the royalty had a time of prestige and a lot of glamours. However, that's too far from reality. Thanks to the history books, we realized that we were wrong, since these writings tell us some truly disgusting habits European kings had. So stay with me till the end of the video to show them. 1. King Charles II of England, just in the year 1651, started a disgusting and perverse tradition. Every time he had sex with a woman, he pulled out several of her pubic hairs to later form a wig. When the wig was large enough to cover a head, he donated to a Scottish club. 2. Henry VIII, King of England, this monarch introduced a portable toilet concept when he decided to choose a boy from the nobility to follow around with a box throughout the day. Since this portable toilet was used for when the king would want to poop, it was a highly respected job in those days as he spent the time with the king and lived in his castle. Though at present we don't believe it was such a privileged job. What do you think? 3. The Seventh King of Denmark, Christian Our beloved Danish monarch loved to squeeze the goose's neck too often. He developed a compulsive need to masturbate. The doctor said his chronic masturbation was the cause of all his ills and problems. He was mentally ill. In the end, they removed him from his position. 4. King Charles VI of France According to this story, this monarch was sick in the head, which led him to commit crazy things beyond your imagination. He'd run around the castle for hours or not move for all day because he claimed he's a glass creature. Most incredible of all, he didn't bathe or change clothes for five months with sake for a lucid second. 5. King Adolfo Federico of Sweden This king was passionate about a dessert and those called en la, which consisted of a cake filled with cream. It may not seem gross until you find out that he died from the many cakes he ate. In 7071, during one of his binges, he ate a large quantity of caviar and lobster. However, he died shortly after, collapsing to the floor due to severe indigestion. King Adolfo went down in history as the king who killed himself while eating. But this isn't entirely fair. The king of England, Henry I, also died eating a large number of eels. 6. Juana, first of Castile, mother of Emperor Charles V of Spain, spent almost all her life married to Felipe el Hermoso. However, when he died instead of burying him, Juana chose to keep the body in her room for a whole year. Logically, the body was decomposing. Meanwhile, she kept acting like he was alive. It just said that he was asleep and would wake soon. She also slept through their husband's body and made the servants talk to him. Indeed, a little crazy. 7. According to historians, King James I of England and VI of Scotland wasn't the cleanest person in the world since he honorably claimed he never bathed. The only recognized type of cleanliness seen from this monarch was that he cleaned his hands after he'd eaten. 8. Queen Maria Eleanor of Brandenburg was one of the few queens who married a man for love. She loved him so much that when the king died, the queen had his heart ripped out so she could sleep next to him. Maria Eleanor put the heart in a gold chest and placed it next to her bed to see each night when she went to sleep. She sometimes made her daughter sleep in her bed to sleep closer to her father, which traumatized her forever, and in various letters she almost always spoke ill of her mother. King Louis XIV, Master of France Possibly he shouldn't have made the people who worked for him very happy since he used his throne both to rule and as a bathroom, at the same time carrying out his duties as king. When he wanted to poop, he pulled down his pants and began to defecate, in public. It was the king, they couldn't say anything. The monarch must have only showered three times in his life, which is why he made all the rooms in a castle full of flowers and sprayed himself with perfume hour after hour. 10. Jaime Primero de Aragon Jaime's stories speak above all about his hygiene or lack thereof. He never bathed, he only washed his tips of fingers with a handkerchief. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our latest uploads.